able to feel better when you give yourself the space to grieve. You know, I yeah. think when people don't, it's like it just builds underneath the surface and then it never fully, fully heals. And I think they say an emotion takes like nine seconds to be felt. Mm-hmm. And oftentimes we don't even give ourselves like the nine seconds. We're looking at our phone. We're doing all these things. And when we really allow ourselves to feel, we're able to heal so much faster. I just got a text from my mom earlier saying that she just ordered Seeds DS01 Daily Symbiotic. It is the real deal. And I'm so excited for her to try it. I have had gut issues in the past and it's been so important for my overall health, my immune system, my mental health to make sure that my gut microbiome is just optimally healthy and seed is the only probiotic that has really worked. And I was like, why, why, why does this really work? So a couple reasons. This is a two-in-one probiotic and prebiotic. It's a proprietary formulation of 24 distinct probiotic strains in scientifically studied dosages and proprietary engineered two-in-one capsule that protects probiotics through digestion to ensure delivery to the colon. So that is why, that is why it works, finally works. If you've taken a probiotic before like me and never felt the difference like me, it's likely because the good bacteria wasn't surviving your GI tract. Seed is designed differently and that's why it works. So the benefits go well beyond the gut. Seed will support ease of bloating, healthy regularity and ease of evacuation, you know, the poop poop. But if it will also support your gut barrier, skin health, heart health and micronutrient synthesis. So it's really, it just packs a punch with benefits. I'm obsessed. So start a new healthy habit today. Visit seed.com slash almost 30 and use code almost 30 to redeem 20% off your first month of Seed's DSO1 daily symbiotic. That's S-E-E-D.com slash almost 30 and use the code almost 30. You're going to get 20% off your first month of Seed's DSO1 daily symbiotic. Ah, my favorite app on my phone. I'm so excited to share it with you. Truebill. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. Uh, I know Krista shared about this with her Life Edit crew because it's such a good hack. I mean, unsubscribing from subscriptions, say no more, just clears and creates space and puts money back into your pocket. On average, people save up to $720 per year with Truebill. I've already saved $300. I was shocked. I was paying for things I didn't even know I was still subscribed to. Companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. It's just, that's the reality. And Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to. It's easy, easy, easy. Peasy. I This is the number one app I recommend. I'm so freaking excited for you guys. It has over 2 million users and helped them save over $100 million. That's right. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling them today at truebill.com slash almost 30. That's truebill, T-R-U-E-B-I-L-L.com slash almost 30. Go right now, truebill.com slash almost 30. It could save you hundreds a year truebill.com slash almost 30. You know, with, and I relate to you on this, like with mental health growing up with, especially with a mother with mental health, you know, there's so much like codependency and, you know, there's so much of that unsuredness in your nervous system because you don't know what's happening. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what to expect. So how have you healed and how have you been able to, you know, remother yourself Mm -hmm. through it all because that can really be that's it's in it's ingrained in you yeah um I've done a lot of Mm reparentification work in the past so I'm writing letters to my little girl Mm -hmm. or just loving her treating myself like I'm my five-year-old Karina like Mm -hmm. love like how would you treat this little girl Mm -hmm. and so I've done a lot of that work and then afterwards it was um, I don't know. I, I didn't, I haven't gone back to therapy since she passed because mm-hmm. I feel like I have all those tools yeah. from many years. Um, 
but I talk about it a lot when I needed to talk about it to my husband, my friends, um, meditation. I do the cold plunge. Do Mm -hmm. you cold plunge? I will at your house. Yeah. It's like, it's good. Oh my God. I literally, like, I would, before my mom passed and after I'm like, Bobby, it would be nighttime. And I'm like, I'm having anxiety. I'm stressed out. Can we just go get in the cold plunge? And then it just like all melts away. Yes. But, uh, the work I, you know, and because I'm a caregiver, I think I put a lot of that into the nonprofit to help others because now I have that capacity and I know the pain that others are going through and how they don't need to. And just being a resource for others to not, you know, have to suffer like that. I, I even got a DM today. And, you know, when I was 13, I had a suicide, I'm a suicide survivor. And I had someone DM me saying that their daughter's 14 and they found out that um, they they went on her computer and she's Googling how many pills does it take to commit suicide and she won't go to therapy she won't you know anything and obviously I connect with that because I my suicide was alcohol and pills and um or my suicide attempt and so I'm like oh well we were immediately finding resources for her for not only that she's like well how do I help my daughter I'm like well you also need to help yourself so we're not experts we're not medical experts um But we have all the resources because if you're, everyone puts all the focus on the one who is having the mental health challenge, but the family members are having it too, because it affects you so much. So, you know, I would say I'm mentally healthy, but situational depression or anxiety is a thing. And the family members have so much stress and they put so much on the family member with the condition. They don't take care of themselves, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which yeah. yeah, very much like the codependency where you're like, I'm not okay if you're okay. And so in your situation with the suicide attempt, what was like, did someone find you? What happened there? And what was the reaction of your family? Because it's almost like the attention maybe shifted to you for in a moment from your mom. Yeah, it's all the full story is in the book. But the mm-hmm. short story is um, I was at a friend's house and my parents had been fighting a lot. My mom was, uh, I can't remember um she was not diagnosed yet but they were fighting Mm -hmm. and she had been out of the house and in the house and missing and um I was at a friend's house over the weekend and I was really depressed and uh we were with friends partying and we were smoking and drinking and doing all Mm -hmm. the things at that age 12 all you got to do in the midwest (laughs) (laughs) and I was I knew I had been journaling about suicide I had all of these ideas and that night I went up her mom, my friend's house um, that I was at, her mom is a nurse. So I went up to her mom's medicine cabinet and there are no parents home. And I took all the prescription pills and downed it with some, some rum and then went and just sat in a room. And then my friends found me and I, it's weird that I can even remember this. Yeah. I have a really good memory, which is weird, but I remember they put me in a cold shower And then, um, I was choking on my own vomit and they ended up calling my parents and my mom was home at the time they came over and, um, yeah. And they were holding, my parents were holding me and I said, no, I just want to go to Jesus. I just want to go to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And they ended up, um, calling 911 and an ambulance coming, pumping my stomach. I ended up in the hospital and, the doctor, once I came to it, I think it was the next day, uh, the doctor was like asking my parents, do you want us to check her in to, mm. a, you know, psychiatric ward? But of course, back then they're like, oh, no, no, she's fine. Yeah, she's fine. And just one night. Yeah. Yeah. Just, she didn't mean that. Yes. <laughs> yes. She's being a, a rebel. Yeah. It's a rebel she's face. A defiant girl. Yeah, yes. She just got drunk with her friends. <laughs> yes, yes. And I said, and the doctor's like, are you okay with that? I said, okay, I'll go home as long as my parents don't fight anymore. Wow. And that lasted a day. <laughs> so. Wow. But I am grateful I'm here. So anybody with um, thoughts of suicide that are listening you can overcome and it's not worth it 
it's not worth it for yourself, your family members, your loved ones to seek help. It's mm-hmm. nothing to be ashamed of. And it's nothing to feel embarrassed of. Mm-hmm. It's okay if you don't feel right, if you're having these thoughts. And there's so many resources out there. Mm-hmm. And they're free. They're uh, no one. It can be confidential. Like even with the big silence, you can text HERO to 741741 and immediately have confidential um, counseling. Oh, great. Yeah. So that's HERO? Yeah. H-E-R-O? Okay. And Bobby made up. He created. I was like, what? A, what is our text word? He's like, HERO. Because if you save yourself, you're your own hero. And if you give that text line to a friend. Oh, my God. Then you're the hero. Bobby. Bobby. Thank you so much for tuning in to Morning Microdose by Almost 30. We hope you enjoyed waking up. As always, we encourage you to take what resonates and leave the rest. If you enjoyed this trip, tune into the full episode on the Almost 30 podcast. All episode information can be found in the show notes. Make sure to subscribe. And if this becomes a part of your morning routine, be sure to share it with a friend. We have new inspiring doses Monday through Friday. Follow us on Instagram at Morning Microdose and follow Almost 30 at Almost 30 podcast. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the vortex.